Hello and welcome. In this short video, let's review about the D-dimer test, commonly advised in emergency departments, and recently its increased use has also been observed in COVID-19 patients. As you know that during clot formation, there is cross-linking of fibrin strands in the final steps of coagulation cascade. When blood clots are broken down, process called fibrinolysis, the fibrin degradation products are released into blood. So basically, D-dimers, are these fibrin degradation products. And their presence in blood indicate that, there is activation of coagulation system. Like seen in venous thromboembolism, disseminated intravascular coagulation, or in venom-induced consumptive coagulopathy. Therefore, D-dimer has a special role in the diagnosis of DVT patients, and in those with suspected pulmonary embolism. The role of D-dimers is however, not validated during pregnancy. So if there is clinical suspicion of DVT during pregnancy, D-dimer test is not indicated. In such cases, physician shall proceed to compression Doppler sonography, to confirm or exclude DVT. D-dimer is also done to see presence of DIC, and their levels give an insight into its severity as well. D-dimers are also done in monitoring of vasculotoxic or hemotoxic snake bites. It shall be noted that, D-dimers also increases in inflammatory conditions, like infection and malignancy, and the results shall be interpreted in clinical context. The sensitivity of D-dimer decreases with time. Therefore, this test should not be used in the assessment of patients, who present with symptoms for 7 days or more. D-dimer increases with age. So, for those aged over 50 years with suspected venous thromboembolism, a cutoff value of D-dimer is calculated by, multiplying patient's age in years, to 10, if you are calculating levels in microgram per liter. Or multiply age with 0.056, if you want to get value in nanomole per liter. This age-adjusted D-dimers appear to decrease the false positive rate. And this is it for this video. Please share with your colleagues, and subscribe to this channel if not already done. Thank you.